We present BIMA, a multimodal 3D user interface that supports high-level data analysis tasks in virtual environments. Developed in collaboration with a scholar of ancient Greek rhetoric and oratory, BIMA explores the extent to which carefully designed 3D user interfaces can contribute to a new style of experiential analysis of ancient performance spaces. Scholars aim to understand what it would feel like to give or receive a speech together with as many as 14,000 Athenians at the Pnyx, and how these experiences changed over time as a result of at least two major renovations captured in the archaeological record. BIMA integrates several low-level interface techniques to support these tasks. Visualization in a head-tracked stereoscopic cave environment supports first-person experiential analysis. State-of-the-art crowd simulation methods are adapted to populate models of the Pnyx with varying numbers of assemblymen, helping to answer cultural heritage questions relating to auditorium capacity and citizen participation in the democracy. To navigate, BIMA introduces a modern-day interpretation of the classical world and miniature technique. A map is displayed on a high-resolution, 2D multi-touch surface inside the cave. Travel is accomplished by reframing the map through direct manipulation. The current location is indicated by crosshairs at the center of the map. During travel, the system adjusts the vertical position of the Pnyx models to maintain contact between the user's feet and the virtual ground. Plan views of the multiple historical phases of the Pnyx are superimposed on the world in miniature to support comparative analysis. Tapping the timeline changes the phase. To further facilitate comparison, spatial context is maintained during transitions through the use of a staged animation that first cross-dissolves the models from the two phases, enabling users to find correspondences, and then gradually settles the user's position to the new ground level. This animation, combined with a virtual meter stick, helps to convey the tremendous amount of earth fill that the Athenians required to reverse the slope of the hillside during renovation. Speech is critical to understanding how the Pnyx was utilized as a performance space. BIMA utilizes volume data to create an interactive visualization of speech intelligibility based on real-time speech input. Using this interface, scholars can experience, visualize, and understand the extreme effort needed to speak at a volume that could be understood by the assembly. <laughs> By integrating solutions for these low-level tasks, including navigating in space and time, adjusting data visualization parameters, interacting with virtual characters, and analyzing spatial audio and architecture, BIMA enables scholars to more deeply engage with their data, develop new hypotheses, and understand how change over time in the physical structure of the Pnyx influenced the behaviors of speakers and listeners.